lot of traffic here tonight on this edition of Next Legacy Radio. I am Brandon in the house. Thank you all for tuning in and all those people who will be listening if you are downloading it via podcast, Apple um, Apple Podcast Download, um, iHeartRadio, um, a lot of different sections globally that you can be able to listen to, download it, Chromecast. Shout out to all you guys out there and girls and people out there who is – Waiting patiently for my interview, which will go down now. So I once again thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all who will be tuning in later uh, via download. Listen, the the show I have is definitely going to be based on growth, education, um, determination, all things, all things with my guest because I think she not only embodies that she actually is one that i have admired for quite some time now based on all the things that i just mentioned so with that being said i want to make sure that you all go and make sure you holler at this young lady follow her on instagram at dr donisha bailey and you can also check out the website at dr donisha bailey.com and i got her book and i was perfect timing because I want to discuss it a little bit, but also I want you guys and girls to go pick it up once you go on the website. And I have Dr. Bailey with me live on Next Legacy Radio. Happy New Year, Dr. Bailey. What's good? Happy New Year. I'm well. How are you? Listen, I'm I'm blessed. It's 2021. New year, new chapter. We're going to get it in, right? That's right. (laughs) <laughs> well, thank you for tuning in, and thank you for calling in, and thank you for I, – I am so, so happy that I can be able to have this dialogue with you because, I, I first off, I want to say that I am very proud of you for everything that you're doing with not just the book, but we'll discuss and talk about all the other things you have going on because I swear you got, like, 50 jobs. Like, I really do. Like, I don't know how you do it. But you got like fifty. Now I just I just gave you ten more jobs. So you got like sixty <laughs> jobs that I'm just really impressed with. So we'll talk about that later. So I got to make sure that I add on to it and make sure that people out there know that this young lady is a mother, educator, speaker, trainer, CEO of the Literacy Club with Dr. Bailey, author of books in the SOS Saving Our Student series. Dr. Bailey, first off. What motivates you as far as the books that you have uh, put together for the students and for those who are really big on just making sure that we spread the awareness of, uh, you know, the need for education? Yeah, so basically what motivates me the most um, are my students. So just understanding and knowing the needs of of my students, students in uh, urban settings, students in low economic neighborhoods who have a lack of resources available, Um, you know, students who attend school districts where funding, you know, is cut and then they're they're unable to um, partake in things like tutoring and um, any extracurricular activities that will, you know, enhance their literacy skills. So, um, everything that I've done for the Literacy Club and for the Saving Our Students movement is for student achievement um, and for students to be successful inside and outside of the classroom. So if that's via, you know, training our teachers uh, through professional development or if that is educating parents on how to be more um, aware of their students' reading um, needs and abilities and levels, um, or if it's just simply reaching out and touching a student um, to help them grow through writing, speaking, and listening skills. I mean, it all really motivates me, but it comes down to the students and them being able to achieve and be successful and be confident in themselves. Was there one moment in your um – in your life that you decided, you know what, this is what I want to do. This is what I'm supposed to be here for. This is what God has put in my position to be able to say, hey, you know what, I have the opportunity and the ability to be able to do this for our kids. What was the one moment? Uh, most, most definitely. So um, I used to want to be a lawyer, believe it or not. Um, I okay. just knew throughout high school, junior high school, that I wanted to be a lawyer. 
Um, and then while I finished my bachelor's degree, I obtained an English degree from Case Western Reserve University because I planned on going to law school. And I love reading and writing, so I, I figured, you know, there's no specific major you have to have in undergrad to go to law school, at least when you go to Case. Um, so I chose English because I love literature, I love writing, I love just everything about it. Um, but then when I um, was privy to when I was privy to a job at a daycare, um, I started working there. One of my friends told me about it, and from there I realized, like, this is what I want to do in my life. I don't want to go into law. I actually do want to, you know, teach students. I want to see and watch them grow and, like, enjoy that aspect of development. And it just turned into um, K-12. But, yeah, I worked in daycares for a few years, and then, from there, I realized, like, this is really what I want to do in my life. I want to make a difference in other kids' lives. Mm. And that's important, um, especially as chaotic as the world is right now, and education is, to me, and I don't know about you, Dr. Bailey, but I always feel like it should be appreciated more for the development of others because any time that you put yourself in a position, if you're a teacher, if you're an educator or some some way, shape, or form, we, it, it's always a certain, you know, it's not, you know, what a lot of people would say the flashiest situation, but it's needed. It's needed because we need to learn more about the ins and outs of, of not just ourselves, but the education system, the, the, the global system, the, you know, how to survive day to day. Like, you know, certain things is really important. And I think the education piece and teachers always feel needs to get more and deserve more credit. Um, I feel like, the, you know, obviously more pay too, but you know, that, that, that goes, that goes what I was saying, but I guess we could say it too. But, but I feel like, I feel like it's always, it's very important. It's, uh, it's, it's necessary. And for those out there that's listening, and for you, Dr. Bailey, that you can be able to, you know, let these people know, adults, parents, um, all the listeners out there listening globally, it's not just based in the United States, the station is worldwide. So for those out there who are, are, are passionate about teaching um, and education, de- ex- explain, describe, describe to, to the listeners out there just why it's important to make sure that we have certain things like this for our young our young people and also um you know people like myself who's still learning every day. You know, basically in order to be successful in any aspect of life, you need a good educational foundation. So you need to be able to you know, be literate. You need to be able to read and write and express yourself through writing, reading, um even listening skills, because if you are working with the public or you're working in any kind of aspect where you have to interact with other human beings, you have to have great listening skills. When you're um, applying for jobs, you have to have great uh, speaking skills, writing skills. Even in every subject that you learn about in school and as you go to college, you just those reading and writing and foundational skills are very important, especially those speaking and listening skills, understanding how to express yourself. Um, you know, and just for education, when you see those light bulbs go off with your student, when you see that aha moment that, wow, I really got it, I mean, it's just the most rewarding feeling of all. You know, regardless of, of what people say about um you know, education, maybe not being as glamorous or, or not being paid as much. Like when you see those moments, when you have that moment, like it's priceless. When those students have those moments, I should say, it's priceless. It's not right. about a paycheck. It's not about anything. It's just about making a difference because at the end of the day, they are the people who are going to be running our world, our youth. It's so yep. important to educate our youth because they're our future doctors, our future lawyers, the heroes that we see now, um, you know, tackling COVID and coronavirus, the people who are creating the vaccines, who are distributing the vaccines, you know, who are approving the vaccines, those are the people who we're educating now. Our future lawyers, Amen. doctors, you know, judges, attorneys, education is so important because we are literally, we literally have the future in our hands. Yep. Wow. Dr. Bailey's my guest on Next Legacy Radio. Make sure you go ahead and go to Dr. Denisha Bailey 
dot com. Make sure you go ahead and grab the book. And I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna ask you questions about the book as well. Um, but let me let me tell you this story. Just because listening to what you were saying um, brought me back to moments, and um, and and I think it, it was part of it as far as what drew me to you and your website and your Instagram and what what I was inspired by. Because I, I, I do volunteer work for the Redwood City, California uh, Library. Um, obviously, a lot of this was before COVID. And I actually had situations where I'm volunteering to not just help kids read, but also young adults, too, um, and also older adults, um, people who have not, for whatever reason, didn't have the opportunity to, you know, learn that basic skill. And the um, the more concerning thing that I that I see out there as well is that people just – you know, they, they tend to shun people like that or ignore people like that or, you know, they don't really take it into consideration by what you just said as far as these next level people are going to be people that's going to be running this country, this world, in a lot of ways, shape, or form. So do you find that there is a, uh, you know, a, I guess in a lot of ways, I guess I can say non, really non-appreciation. It kind of goes back to the non-glamorous thing that I was mentioning. Do you find that, it, you know, a lot of people take the education portion of what we do for granted in a lot of ways? Uh, most definitely. Um, especially when you look at, you know, hierarchy or classism or how, however you want to, however you want to say it, social economic status. You know, a lot of times educators are, you know, looked at as middle class or, you know, I mean, they – they may not be people who are part of certain conversations. That's how I'll put it. But but I just feel like we're, we're undervalued in a major way um, in many aspects. You know, when these textbooks are being written or these, these tests are being created, you know, I would like to see more educators being a part of the conversation and, and less, you know, businessmen and women. And that's just, right. that's just me being completely and totally honest. Um, Sometimes we have people in a room who are creating tests or who have um, who have whose opinions and and knowledge are, are value, but they've never spent one day in a classroom, and that just boggles my mind every time. So, you know, wow. I just I just feel like, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's true. So, yeah. With that being said, what what do you think we can do? Uh, because I feel like. You're you're on that path already, so I kind of know the answer to the question. But I mean, what do you think when you say that? What what do you what else do you think we can do besides um, you know each one teach one takes a village, you know build that build that legacy that we all want by helping others. Um, what else can we do? Professional development to me is very big. Professional development in education is key. So yes, we go to school, we get these degrees, we we graduate, you know, we take tests and and we obtain our licenses, but at the end of the day, we have to continue professional development throughout our careers because education is forever changing, um, technology is forever changing, and understanding how to reach our students who have different educational abilities, um, understanding how to differentiate our lessons for students who have different reading abilities, math abilities, um, it all comes down to professional development. And then the other book that I have in the Saving Our Students series, it's geared for parents, um, and that as well is very important. So just um, parent involvement in our schools and just educating parents on what they need to know to be the other half of their students' education is important as well. So, you know, Saving Our Students isn't one entity. It's not it's not about one person or one group of people. It's all of us having a collaborative effort to work together for the betterment of our students in order for them to, you know, receive um, or achieve success inside and outside of the classroom. Hey, Amen. Keep preaching that, though. Keep preaching it. It's important, very important. And you talked about the um, Saving Our Students series. Um Talk to me. Tell me how this developed as far as, you know, um, when did you feel like that, you know what, this first book can turn into an actual series in itself for this program and for this um, movement? Right. So in 2019, I graduated from Walden University with my doctorate in educational leadership man management and policy. And within that, I um, 
you know, I studied for a couple of years and did research, and I wrote my dissertation um, about the collaboration or the lack thereof between general education teachers and special education teachers and their administrative support. So that turned into me really understanding that we need professional development because even when we go to college, there's still so much to learn, you know, even after you graduate and obtain those degrees and read all those books, there's still specific things you need to understand about collaborating with other adults and about, um, you know, responding to interventions that our students need. So as I was writing that, you know, COVID happened. When I started the book in November of 2019, COVID happened, you know, the beginning of 2020. And by the time I finished the book and it was published, it was September, but right after I was supposed to start the Literacy Club with Dr. Bailey, but I realized that we needed something more, something else that was more urgent. So I wrote the second book, Parents' Guide to um, Home Instruction and Intervention, and that basically just talked about how to get through and how to communicate with your uh, students' teachers with online instruction and how it can be difficult, but how to still be a fierce advocate while you're in the home with your with your students or with your children. Um, and then I went back and realized, oh, my goodness, funding is being cut in our schools, tutoring is being cut, but students' needs are not, you know, going anywhere. They still need tutoring. They're still lacking in speaking, listening, and writing skills. So I created the Literacy Club with Dr. Bailey, and that's a 10-week program that takes students through um, – you know, a journey to create their own writing portfolio. Um, and, right. you know, in the end, I want the students who join the program at the end of the 10 weeks to have a piece of technology because we also have to address the digital divide that exists, you know, yep. within our communities as well. So I'm looking for funding right now. Um, I'm working on I'm getting everything I need for my nonprofit, the Literacy Club with Dr. Bailey, so that I can accept donations from Apple, Google, whoever wants to help us out so that when students are finished with this 10-week program where they learn how to write poetry and short stories and essays and music and just, you know, just are able to express themselves through creativity, when they're done with this 10-week program, not only will they have a writing portfolio of different genres of writing that they can take everywhere, they'll also have a piece of technology so that they don't have to be shut out from the world if it's summertime and the school needs their computers back or or whatever may may occur, they right. still have that technology, um, you know, at their fingertips. Okay. And that and that is so important, Dr. Bailey, especially now. I mean, you know, it's, it's just so funny that you mentioned COVID because I was going to ask you that as well. And it's just so different as far as how the education process has been come out because of, you know, COVID and, you know, stay at home and everything else. And, you know, and I, and I know it's affecting our students in a lot of ways. So if you can be able to um, verbally talk to not just your students, obviously, but, you know, every student, I'm going to give you the opportunity to talk to every student in the world right now that's listening live or will be listening, um, you know, just some words of encouragement, because I know the person to person interaction is very important to, uh, the educational part of you know development, right? So um, you know, be be the be the beacon of bright light for all these students out there who cr- is craving that that person to person contact with their teacher or their fellow students. I just want to say, I know you all are working very hard. I know that it's difficult to try to learn new material in a different way, something that we've never experienced before. But I'm proud of each and every one of you. I just want to say keep up the great work for the um, seniors out there who are going to be graduating from high school, for the students who are even going to be graduating from college. I see you guys. I know that you're working hard. I know that it's different. I know that we are living in unprecedented times, but keep working hard. Keep your eye on your prize. Know that no matter what you want to accomplish in life, if you work hard, no matter what's happening in the world, you can achieve your dreams. 
as told by Dr. Denisa Bailey on Next Legacy Radio. And a couple more questions uh, before I let you go. And I, you know I got to ask you this because I feel like, you know, what, what I said earlier is really true to life, that you have, like, 60 jobs and a million different things going on in life. So you as an educator, you as, you know, a mother, you as a nurturer for, you know, all things, uh, literacy, education, responsibilities, and all, how do you manage? How do you get through your day-to-day without, you know, saying that, oh, no, I got more stuff to do? How do you get through it? Um, well, you know, I just always try to stay positive. I wake up in the morning. Um, like when I see my daughter, that's the greatest blessing in the world. Um, you know, we wake up singing and, you know, I just, good energy, good energy. So we, we wake up with good, you know, with positive vibes and good energy. Sometimes I make a checklist of all the things I have to do for the day. It, mm-hmm. just me personally, it, it, you know, it does something for me to be able to write something down and be able to check off a list, off on a list what I've done for the day. Just making sure that I always put family first. Um, but that I'm also, you know, focused on my career at work. But time management is key. So, like, sometimes with my daughter, Anya, she'll be three. Sometimes when she's taking a nap, I have to choose between am I going to take a nap or am I going to work on this book? You know, sometimes mm-hmm. at night I have to choose between am I going to go to bed a little early or I'm, or am I going to go and edit edit this book or do some research? So, um just being aware not to take away family time. Sometimes I might take away sleep time, but I'm not going to take away family right. time uh, because ultimately that's that's what's most important for me is family. So um, just trying to be conscious of not taking away family time is what's important for me, and I just believe in not wasting time. So if, if I have 10 or 15 minutes here, I can be using that time to read or work on something, you know, instead of taking a nap. Or or maybe, you know, my day might go where I will be able to get a nap in, but my priority is to get whatever goals I have set for myself for that day, week, or month to make sure it gets done without taking away family time. Amen, amen. And with that being said, what's next? And before you even answer that question, let me let me say, when I bought your book, uh, I have to apologize to you because I, I completely – I should have bought the second one that's available on your website as well. So, listen, um, not only am I going to purchase purchase that, if people go on drdenisabailey.com, make sure you buy her books. And not only that, make sure you support it by spreading that to others as well. So what I'm going to what I'm going to tell you, Dr. Bailey, I'm just going to make sure I'm spring this on you. So if your listeners and your 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 base of fans and you can IG it um or on your social media as well um your next five purchases um I in my station will give you and your and your listeners or your purchasers a $25 Amazon gift card. So whoever buys it gets a gets a gift card from me. So you can go ahead and spread the word wow. and you know we'll we'll put that out there as well. So you know and, and it's important to me, Dr. Bailey, for this reason. Um, I've been fortunate, you know, as far as going through my life education wise, two degrees, um, you know, and I you know, personally, you know, I feel like I feel like I need to do more. So if there's a way that I can be able to allow my platform, um, you know, any room to breathe is gonna be able to have someone like you that can come on and share your your passion your your um your need for for growth so others can grow too so if, you know even if something like this can be able to spread you know like wildfire and we can be able to get more people just really paying attention to the educational need in the process that's a win so your next five purchases next legacy radio will will give a $25 gift card to each individual so i'm throwing that out there to say this what's next dr bailey i kind of already know the answer but talk to me <laughs> that is awesome. I just want to say thank you so much for that. I really, truly appreciate that. What's next is getting the Literacy Club with Dr. Bailey off of the ground. So, um, Amen. We are working on the website. We're working on turning it into an app. But while that's happening, I am working on getting the uh, Literacy Club with Dr. Bailey grade three through five published on my website. Um, I'm looking at the middle of March. 2021, so in a couple of short months, 
Um, but with that, I'm going to be differentiating that. So we're going to have a K2 version to go with the 3-5 version, grade 6 through 8 as well, and 9 through 12, because now I feel like I have to touch all grades. Um, and then there will be teacher manuals with that as well. So they will be all digital, and we're going to work on getting it, you know, through Google Classroom, and I'm just trying to connect with as many people as I can um, to make as big a difference as I can. So if we can get it into an app, which is, you know, what I'm working on now, then I can mm. touch way more students than I anticipated when I first thought about this. So, Hey, especially now. I mean, social media, networking, apps, all that stuff is, like, hugely important, too. So um, that's big. That's big. And I know you got you got another book coming out soon too, though, right? Yes. So uh, that book is coming out. But again, I have I'm focusing on finishing the Literacy Club with Dr. Bailey. So uh, when you see the green version of the SOS uh, series, that is the workbook for the students. But the next uh, book that's coming out that's not a workbook is SOS Saving Our Students: Building a Culture that is culturally responsive. And and I haven't even uh, actually put that out there yet, so you are hearing it live for the first time right hey. now. Um, but hey. <laughs> that, that is the next book in the series. Right now we're working on the Literacy Club with Dr. Bailey. So if you see the first book, it's the red version. The Parents' Guide is the blue version of SOS. The green version is going to be different shades of green when I have all grade levels and teacher manuals complete. That is the Literacy Club with Dr. Bailey. Um, but the next uh, book in the Saving Our Students series is SOS Saving Our Students, um, Building a Culture that is Culturally Responsive. So it just talks about no matter what, um, you know, race or background our teachers are, we have to understand and know the background and culture of our students and connect with them and understand what's important to them in order to build a, a culturally responsive environment. Hey, hey, listen, you sound like you're continuing to be busy on top of everything else that you're doing <laughs> personally, on top of everything else that you're, you still have, like, you know, uh, written down as far as what's the next plan that Dr. Bailey has. But um, can, I, can I also give a special shout-out to Bailey's Bistro, though? Can, can we do that? Can we do that? Please. So we could do that, right? Bistro, my mom, definitely. That is my mom's business, and I'm just helping her with it. But it's her hands. It's, it's her greatness. It's her craft. Uh, Bailey's Bistro, you can check out Bailey's Bistro on Facebook, on Instagram. Um, the menus are up. The videos are up. Uh, the number is there. The business cards are up. And we would love your support if you are in uh, the Cleveland, Ohio area. Can I, can I give Mama Bailey a shout out? Because uh, if she's doing it, and I saw some of the I saw some of the uh, stuff that you've been promoting and putting out there. I mean, I wish I was in Cleveland, Ohio at this particular time because all the stuff that I've seen that she looks like <laughs> she can cook. You know, I'm I'm just like every time I'm like, man, I need to come out there um, and definitely do that. So um, I definitely want to shout her out. And I definitely want to make sure that if I take a trip out there in the time being, uh, you know, to Ohio, I need to make sure that I, um, you know, uh, try out Bailey's Bistro. So, um, you know, quick plug, yes, but also I'm, I'm, I'm super, super, uh, you know, proud of her and you uh, for, for putting this out there in the midst of a pandemic in, in that being said. So people out there that's listening, Listen, you can you can do it. You don't have to have this situation shut down your dreams as far as what you want to do. You can do it. Look at look at Dr. Bailey. Look at Mama Bailey and Bailey's Bistro. Look at the look at the movement. So be inspired by that and just don't say you can't do it, right? That's right. That's right. This is one been one of the greatest years of my life and and I know that, you know, we lost a lot of people this year, uh last year I should say. And, you know, we we suffered around the world, but to be honest, God, God was good to me in 2020, and I'm just excited for the blessings that he has in store for me for 2021. Amen to that. And Dr. Bailey is our guest on Next Legacy Radio. Make sure you go ahead and go to drdenisabailey.com. Make sure you purchase a book or books. Next Legacy will give up 
$25 per transaction. Dr. Bailey will let me know when that transaction goes down so I can go ahead and submit that $25 Amazon gift card. Um, but I got to say in closing that not only do I appreciate what you're doing um, because your mission is going to continue to be ongoing because education is always ongoing and evolving, um, you need like-minded people that's going to rally beside you as well, and not just from a media standpoint or a platform, but just any support. Like, we we kind of talked or text offline as far as what's what, but, you know, as far as what we can do together or what, you know, we can be able to do to get others to be involved is definitely going to be the mission in 2021. Relationships and building that, nurturing that, growing that is going to be important. And I'm, and I'm just I'm proud of you, and I'm proud that, you know, I can work alongside you to be able to get this out. And I really and truly, uh, you know, see you as that gift, you know. Thank you so much, and thank you so much for having me, and thank you for all of your support. Well, you know you got to come back, though, right? You're not done, so we're going to have to come back. Once you get all these books out and this literacy club, all this stuff, you got to come back. We can have an online radio book club. Like, what, what's what's the harm in that? Like, you know what I mean? Like, we could do it. It could be done. I hope so. I hope so. And when all this is over, I plan on coming to the West Coast to do some in person hey. in person book club. Hey. You know, I'm trying to travel travel to make it happen. But right now I'm gonna be good and, and stay home, but I am gonna do some things virtually. So I'm gonna <laughs> come back on your show to tell you about it and we'll go from there. There you go. <laughs> You said I'm going to be good and I'm going to not travel. Like, you know what? Hey, listen, it's, it's going to get better. We're going, to, we're going to work it into existence, pray it into existence, make it happen. And, okay. and, yeah, and, and that time is coming. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> Dr. Bailey, get to it. And you know what I mean when I say that? I'm not going to say anything else, but I'm proud of you. We will be checking you out. And um and just keep just keep making a lot of uh, a lot of people inspired because you do that just by your actions. So you know, never change. Just evolve. Thank you so much, and thank you for having me. Not a problem. That is the wonderful, super sweet, all worldly Dr. Denise Bailey right here on Next Legacy Radio Music. And I got a special shout out right after. <laughs> 